make sure. Yeah, check this out. Fucking Land Rover. Gearbox fault. You guys see those? All those faults. Because it's too fucking hot. Traction reduced. Oh yeah, great fucking time for traction to be reduced. Show warnings. Okay. You guys see that? So, we're just going to power her down for a little bit and wait for her to cool down. This is the worst part about owning overly complicated vehicles. The tires are smoking. <laughs> Let's do this. What's going on everybody? I'm Mecca here from Driven Hard and uh, there will be no, no clips of off-roading or anything exciting like that in this video. But this is going to be a video um, about what just happened to me and that thing right there. Um, so this is, I guess, a Land Rover ownership view. Uh, video experience um so let me give you the kind of uh take on what's been going on so i just filmed a video of uh, going up and down this hill and went up and down it a few times a couple times kind of i guess i i haven't seen the actual video yet so um i i'm guessing i bottomed out or i was i was caught on the belly and you know i was fighting it a little bit going back and forth the typical things you would do to get unstuck and I uh, did that for a little bit, and then I started getting the warning messages, gearbox overheating. And I've got that once before, and uh, it landed me in the same situation, but it wasn't as hot out. And basically, you know, with any modern vehicle, unless it's a Wrangler, um, sophisticated modern vehicle, you're going to have the car's computers prevent damage from happening to the car's components and that's exactly what Land Rover has built into their overly sophisticated vehicles. Um, the gearbox was overheating because I was working it a ton um, trying to get up and over uh, this hump a few times. So it was heating up, heating up and uh, eventually it says no it's getting too hot um, we're gonna shut you down and so what it's done essentially is uh, it's completely shut it down so uh, you're once I put it in park, it locked it in park. Um, a whole bunch of other faults came up. You can check out the video for those. Um, and then, so now I just basically, I have to let it cool down enough so it's drivable again. Um, so that's what I'm doing. However, it's 38 degrees here. I am, as you can see, in the middle of the, well, not Mexican desert, but I am in Mexico and it is the desert and it is hot. Um, luckily, I got some cloud cover right now, but um, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to give it about 30 minutes until I restart it, and um, hopefully it's cooled down enough. The last time I did this, it was when I filmed the mud video, but it was at night. It was cooler. Um, and, well, I was actually stuck. The crazy thing, I'm not even actually stuck here. Um, I'm not actually, it's not actually stuck. Uh, I was just you know, turning around as it was starting to overheat. So I gave up going up and I was just turning around. So I'm not actually stuck, but it just, um, yeah, it uh, said reduce traction and I couldn't get out with the amount of traction and amount of throttle it was allowing me to, to give. And I guess this is just one of those things that if you're going to be using these type of vehicles, the way they're intended, you know, whether it's Toyota, Land Rover, um, I've ran into this issue with the Jeep Grand Cherokees. Um, any of those very modern high-tech brands or vehicles, you have to be prepared for stuff like this. You can't push it like you can. A guy came over and gave me some lemonade. 
uh, you know, he had a little Jeep Comanche and that thing, you're going to push until you bust the drive line or the drive shafts, right? Nothing's going to prevent it from, from, um, from breaking it. But, um, I guess this is better because some people would probably keep pushing it, um, until something does bust. And so I guess this is a good way of kind of, you know, it protecting it, but, uh, it's, it's kind of a fucking pain now. I ain't part of my French, but like, you know, I'm delayed now. Life's going to be asking all sorts of questions and shit. And, you know, I'm hoping in about 15 minutes I can restart it and it's, it's cooled down enough. But who knows? It might take an hour or two for the thing to cool down. Um, you know, and so I have no idea. I have no idea, but I'm definitely a little pissed. Just kind of screaming in the car. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Um... You know, could I have avoided this? I get an air down the tires. Of course, they're 21. So how much are you going to air down? Um, they're just the stock Pirellis that come with it. Um, but I've gone up and down these sand dunes, sand hills before. I've done videos on them. They're nothing. Um, they're nothing extraordinary. Except for this one was, I guess, just deeper sand or whatever the case is. But yeah, it was definitely way harder than it, it, it's been before. Uh, it's been a few months since I've been here, but <sighs> yeah, so so interesting. But um, you know, you want to see the limits of what this thing can do. Stop. Um, this is it. You know, it's um, like I said, it's currently not stuck, and it's just not letting me drive it right now because it's. Uh, let's just say. It's a fat person working out too hard. <laughs> it's at its limits. So, yeah, I don't know. It definitely kind of fesses me off a little bit. I think the shittiest part was that people drove by and, like, you, you know, that's a little embarrassing. So, oh, oh man. see what I was right like I said got up here a few times but uh, it definitely kind of struggled and uh, I was catching the belly right up here hence why it started digging some holes and you know fighting around that just as you would do um, but I guess just doing that so many times it was a little too much for her to take so yeah so anyways but 10, 15 more minutes or so. And uh, hopefully she's cooled down enough and I get back to uh, back to my day. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. <laughs> Was not expecting to do, to do this type of video today at all, but uh, just another day here, driven hard, right? Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to uh yeah like this video that i get out of here okay i'd appreciate that all right okay guys till next time check out some of the other videos on the channel i appreciate your support and uh hey i do this shit for your entertainment and mine <laughs>